Welcome to Massachusetts. We are in the wine country in Chile. We're in the wine country region of Casablanca and San Antonio. And we are staying at the Matatic Vineyard and Guest House. So, welcome to one of the most beautiful places I think we've ever stayed. This is our entrance. So, we arrived. It's actually a very plain stone wall that surrounds the outside of the um, property. And then you walk in this arbor and you come down these lovely steps and you start seeing the landscaping of this lovely place. The, the beautiful um, flowers. We have apple trees. Um, it's just unbelievably beautiful. We've stayed here for two evenings after our cruise and have drank lots of fabulous, fabulous wine. A beautiful entrance to uh, the guest house, La Casona, the guest house of Matatic Vineyards and the big special tall pine tree. Our luggage is loaded on the little gator and we'll be traveling. And this lovely uh, corridor that's uh, going to eventually be covered with all these beautiful flowers will lead to uh, another section of where the, the wines are growing. And these lovely gardens. There was actually a helicopter here yesterday, a gentleman that owns a wine uh, winery actually flew in in his helicopter just for lunch. Um, the restaurant here is an award-winning restaurant and uh, they do wine pairings and it's one of the very highly rated uh, restaurants. It's only open for lunch or special occasions and we, um, due to some conflicts with our guide, did not get to eat there. We were late yesterday because of car trouble. We haven't had car trouble in a long time, but we had car trouble yesterday. And uh, look at these flowers. Who's care who cares about car trouble? If you can stay in a place like this, it's just really amazing. Look at this. This is one of the flowers that we see a lot of in South America. We saw a lot of these in Peru and in Argentina. I don't know the name of the flower. I've got to look it up, but it's just absolutely a lovely flower. So we are going to uh, even move past this this lovely venue of the of the entrance and show you more of the property. They have a little fountain going down. It provides a very nice little sound. Water coming from the barrels and just kind of gently cascading down. You have a fig tree that kind of hides the, the hotel. It's a guest house. There are only seven rooms. And we have been staying here with a very nice couple from Canada that we shared uh, dinner with the last two evenings. And we actually watched the Super Bowl last night. The uh, hotel set up a room for the four of us and connected the Super Bowl. And we saw the Super Bowl, even though we are quite... Uh, late. It was still a lot of fun. And this is looking back toward the guest house and the landscaping is just amazing. And we stayed in a room that's facing in this direction. And then we're walking on down toward the restaurant. The winery is just a um, couple of miles from here and it's very modern. We visited there yesterday and did a tasting. But I wanted to show you how lovely uh, the restaurant is with the fountains and uh, the shape of the round house and the Japanese bridge and then they have the swan and the geese but the Japanese bridge very very lovely this area is very nice I think this restaurant is quite busy we think it's just lovely grounds and um, 
just so pretty. It's so cool to see this helicopter here yesterday. And so cool. They do a lot with helicopter. They said this property has a helicopter. There was actually a forest fire in the distance yesterday. And, uh, but it didn't seem like it was maybe 10 miles from here. I'm not sure. There are swan and geese friends that are just kind of hanging out. Um, and another lovely fountain and the bridge across going uh, toward the restaurant and it's just amazing look how far they have landscaped for this property it just continues I think they have uh, a few buses perhaps that come in and, and eat lunch here um, but we're going to walk. They have a, a lovely pool area. There are all kinds of fabulous. Oh, and looking back up to where you enter, just a nice landscaped area for the entry. But the winery is very sleek and modern and sophisticated, and we um, were just amazed at how actually sophisticated. It is with the award-winning wines. The wines are very nice. We've had them for dinner the last two evenings. And just the entire place is a five-star place. We actually, um, our travel agent actually found the place for us. I had not heard of this, and it's been a lovely experience. We have really enjoyed being in the country. And we're walking through the arbor. To see some more of the uh, beautiful landscapings at the guest house. I think Daryl may be, he was sitting outside our room just a little bit ago. Um, I don't see him now. But we have enjoyed our little room and our little table. That is, uh, oh, I think I may have been aiming just a little too high. So he's been sitting out smoking. We've had our breakfast outside our room with this wonderful... There he is. I was off a of room. Hey, Daryl. There he is. Hello. He's enjoying his cigar. Cigars. Just, we have, uh, this is huge butterfly bush I think it's called we've actually seen some very very large hummingbirds and the largest hummingbird I think I've ever seen and now we're going to walk up to where the pool area is look at this this is where uh, the buses would come and unload the people for um, the meal and they would actually come this way and walk through the arbor and what a wonderful surprise they would have when they saw how lovely the property is. Look at those lilies. Are those not just just beautiful? But the hummingbirds were here. They're some of the largest hummingbirds I think I've ever seen. And um, don't know where they are at the moment. But we'll just continue Walking, we're going to walk up to the pool district, and actually, I am saving the most beautiful part of the property for last. And that would be the uh, courtyard, the courtyard where the hotel rooms are located, which is just amazing. 